in my previous Elden Ring video, I showed you guys how you could join another player's world as a cooperator to help them survive out there in the lands between. But what if instead of helping, you want to make someone's life a living hell? Well, don't worry. We've got you covered for that, too. I'm Jamie Latour, and this guide will show you how to invade other players' worlds for some PvP action in Elden Ring. That's my evil laugh. I use it for evil. Much like co-op, PvP requires the use of specific items to invade the worlds of other players. For invasions, you can use a consumable item called a Festering Bloody Finger. And doesn't that name just put a warm, fuzzy image into your head? This will send you to an enemy player's world so you can do battle. You can buy this from various merchants that you'll discover across the lands between, such as this hungry boy that you'll run into in the forest in East Limgrave. You can also put down a PvP summoning sign so other players players can choose to summon you in for a one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two -on -two battle. This requires a reusable item called a Duelist Furled Finger, which is found on the outside of this Colosseum near this Ghost Man at this location on the map. You'll also find a small red effigy around here as well, which works in a similar manner to the small gold effigy, only it instead adds your invasion summoning sign to martyr effigy summoning pools. In addition to these items, there's also the bloody finger, which unlike the festering bloody finger, has infinite uses. You'll get this when you reach Rose Church later in the game and complete an NPC questline. There's also the recusant finger, which you get via a questline at Volcano Manor, which I have I haven't really found yet, but I'm going to because it's called Volcano Manor and that just sounds like a fun spot to hang out. Once you've invaded another player's world, your goal is to kill the host. If they happen to have other co-op phantoms present, you don't need to kill them, but you can if you're particularly good at PvP, which I am not. Just like co-op, PvP has its own rules and restrictions. Your flash charges are halved and you can't summon mounts or spirits. Regular AI controlled enemies won't attack you, which is something that you can use to your advantage. You also can't enter boss arenas, which is good since Market the Fell Omen is hard enough on his own. And no, I still haven't beaten him yet. Normally, you can only face off against one PvP attacker at a time, but if you're extremely confident in your abilities, you can use an item called a Taunter's Tongue to draw multiple PvP opponents into your world. You can get this item by defeating Mad Tongue Alberic, who is found by jumping over this balcony within the round table hold. One last little wrinkle in this whole PvP scene involves the Cypher Rings that you can buy from the Twin Maiden Husks in the Round Table Hold. If you're tired of repeatedly getting your ass handed to you by invaders, you can use the White Cypher Ring to call forth another player to help you in battle. And if you happen to be an Elden Ring Saint that wants to help the poor downtrodden people like me who are constantly being invaded, you can use the Blue Cypher Ring to be summoned to fend off those evil adversaries. Now that you know how to invade other worlds, feel free to travel around and ruin everyone else's day. To summon the knowledge of our Elden Ring news and guides, warp over to thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, now get to stabbing.